Hey guys, so if you are a content creator of any kind, a designer, video creator, something like that, you may be using Adobe Creative Cloud. That's what I use. It's basically Adobe's suite of different software, whether it's Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing to Photoshop, of course, but they actually have a really cool mobile app for iOS and Android that I really only recently found out about, but I wanted to talk about it because it is so cool. Now, I'm pretty sure you have to be a member of the Creative Cloud to use it, but if you're on the fence or you are looking for something like this app, then this might give you the incentive to uh, get this Creative Cloud if you've been looking for something like this. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's cool. Now this app is actually called Adobe Capture CC for Creative Cloud, and it ties in with your cloud libraries, which is basically where you can store different assets and use them across all your programs. And there are really four functions in this app that allow you to essentially capture the world around you in different ways so you can use them in your creative work. These four ways are color, shapes, brushes, and looks. I'm going to get into all of them, but let's do it one by one. First, starting off with color, it basically lets you take a picture of anything and then it kind of analyzes the image and gives suggestions where you can capture the different colors in that scene. If you say, wow, I really like the colors in this uh, painting or something like that, or even the, the landscape here looks really cool, the colors. Well, you can actually take a picture of it and capture the colors and then use it, say, in Adobe Illustrator, if you're trying to create a color scheme, you can look back at those pictures you took and say, this is a cool color scheme based on this real life image, and I'm gonna now use it in this design. The shapes tool is really interesting in that it lets you take a picture of anything and then kind of extract shapes that you can also use in Illustrator or Photoshop or something like that. You basically take a picture of anything and then use the slider and you can kind of mess around with the mask a bit to isolate it. But then once you have it set to how you like it, it takes that shape, it turns it into a vector, and then you can actually use that vector shape of the real life object and use it in your designs. The next tool is for brushes, which are essentially repeated patterns where you capture an image of something, it lets you isolate it out, kind of mask it out, and then you can use it in Photoshop. So if you have, I don't know, a, a group of star, a star or something like that you take a picture of, and then you isolate it out, and then you can use that star as a paintbrush and scatter it. And again, it's just a way to use something from the real world as a object in Photoshop. Now the last tool, which is my personal favorite and the one that I'll probably use the most, allows you to create looks for Premiere Pro and your videos. It's kind of similar to how the color tool works, but this allows you to take a picture and then create a color scheme that you can actually apply onto a video to color grade it automatically to get a certain look based on the scene that you were just looking at. And then once you take a picture, you kind of select what color you want to be the main color, and you can actually preview it and apply it as you know an example of what it might look like. And then again, you go into Photoshop and it's all right there because it syncs through the cloud and then you drop it right on and it's going to make that video have a certain look to it based on the colors that you just captured. So I could definitely see myself using that one especially, but I also like the color palette capture and maybe the brush one and the shape one I might not use as much because I don't really use Illustrator, but I definitely think it's cool to be able to capture looks and color grades just from looking at stuff. And that's about it. So I thought you guys would just be interested in that. So let me know what you think in the comment section. If you liked it, be sure to give that video a thumbs up. And if you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I think it should be worth it. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.